any questions. And of course, he's going to be around through dinner and afterwards, so please be sure to pick his mind and consider getting his book, which is fantastic. David, I read somewhere where uh, um, I believe TR was born in 1858, and by the time he was a teenager, he was experiencing a lot of people in his neighborhood who were Civil War veterans, and he realized what street cred they had as a result of being Civil War veterans, and that made him lust for the fight. Well, it, it's, it's, it's deeper psychologically, actually. He said his father, and it's really, the names are really confusing. His father was Theodore Roosevelt. He's Theodore Roosevelt. His son is Theodore Roosevelt. But somehow his son is Theodore Roosevelt Jr. Well, he should be Theodore Roosevelt Jr. But anyway, um, his father paid to get out of the draft, like Grover Cleveland did. Okay? So Theodore Roosevelt is this super militaristic guy. Okay? And is he compensating for in his life? by this blot on the escutcheon of his father not going to fight. Now, why doesn't his father go to fight? Um, the Civil War is, you know, this war of brother against brother. Um, it's not always brother against brother, but an awful lot of time it's brother-in-law against brother-in-law. Theodore Roosevelt's uncles do fight in the war, but in the Confederate Navy, yeah, okay. So, um, Theodore Roosevelt the first um, did not go because his wife, uh, Martha Bullock, was from Georgia and she would not have wanted him to go. So, yeah, it's, it's very complex there. Um, also, in terms of the Civil War, is these two parallel uh, weird incidents of Roosevelt and Wilson where at the end of the Civil War, and there's a picture, you can see it, you've probably seen it, where Theodore Roosevelt and his sister, I think it's his sister, not his brother, uh, are in a window at their grandfather's house in New York City and they are watching Abraham Lincoln's funeral procession going by. Conversely, Young Woodrow Wilson is in Georgia mm -hmm. and sees Jefferson Davis paraded down the street in chains. So both of those guys have, you know, after effects from the Civil War. And one of one of uh, <coughs> Theodore Roosevelt's favorite um, insults against Woodrow Wilson is to compare him to James Buchanan. <laughs> you know how. Wilson is dithering with the war, and Buchanan would have dithered uh, in the lead up to the Civil 